Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. <laughs> Peppa wants to ice skate, too. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? <coughs> yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do ice skating any more. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho, ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me! I'm skating! Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <laughs> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes. You did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Peppa and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> The Dentist Every morning, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are going to the dentist. Peppa, George, are you ready to go for your checkup? I'm too busy for a checkup. I'm having a tea party with Teddy. Yes, we're very busy. We all need checkups. 
to make sure our teeth are clean and healthy. OK, Daddy. George, are your teeth clean like mine? It is George's first visit to the dentist. You both have lovely clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be very happy. <laughs> Pepper and George are at the dentist's, waiting for their checkup. Uh, waiting is boring. This magazine's very interesting. It's all about potatoes. <sighs> Pepper, George. The dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> this is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Pepper. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> there, all done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Peppa. Spit it out. <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Peppa. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. That's right, George. Mr Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gosh! What shiny teeth you have, Mr Dinosaur! <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> George loves Mr Dinosaur, especially now he has nice clean teeth. <laughs> Mr Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr Bull is not very good at being quiet. Peppa and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr Bull. Bull. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. <coughs> Mr Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. 
Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow! Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Grandpa's little tray. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Pepper and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Pepper and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo. 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 Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink 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 oink. And the piggies on the train go 
oink, 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 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than. Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up, all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up, all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> painting. Pepper and George are painting today. We need some old newspaper to put on the table. Yes! <laughs> Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. What's this? What is Daddy Pig doing? Ooh. Now, who can tell me what this is? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now, where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy, why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, 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 this is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> Well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? 
It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! Can I paint the cherries? Yes, Peppa. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there. The painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. <laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm, let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! <laughs> oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> 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 Pond. The ducks are swimming in their pond. They are very happy. Here are Pepper, George, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig. Hello, ducks. The ducks want some bread. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We haven't got any bread today. We've got something much more fun. Pepper has brought her toy boat. <laughs> And George has brought his toy boat. Let's wind your boat up, George. George's boat works with clockwork. Quick, George. Put the boat in the pond before the clockwork runs out. <laughs> George loves his clockwork boat. Mummy, can you wind my boat up? Your boat doesn't need winding up, Pepper. Pepper's boat is a sailboat. The wind makes it go along. I don't like my boat. It doesn't do anything. That's because there isn't any wind today. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. Hooray! <laughs> it went really fast. Pepper loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. <coughs> We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck. <coughs> Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. 
I say. That's impressive. How does it work? It's steam-powered. I just push this little lever. Wow! What a fantastic paddle boat. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with our boats. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? To make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. <laughs> George wants a paper boat too. Oh, oh, I suppose I can do without the sports page. <laughs> Please, can I have one? And, and me. me. <laughs> of course. Daddy Pig is making paper boats for everyone. Let's have a race. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We can huff and puff and blow the paper boats across. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> Ready, steady, blow! We have a winner! Uh, who had the sports page? That's George's boat. George is the winner. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I like boats and I like paper boats the best. Me too! <laughs> it's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, ducks. See you soon. The ducks enjoyed the toy boats, but they quite like having the pond back to themselves again. <laughs> Jumble sail. It is a rainy day. And the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Pepper is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Pepper, have you decided? Um. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give. Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Peppa, you can't give away Mr. Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know, the television. Not the telly. No, it's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> No, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. 
And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the eye test. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay. Where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. <laughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh. <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> Now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test. And I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Peppa. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> Pepper is at the optician's. <laughs> Mr. Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Peppa's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F. Good.
Good. Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper. You look fantastic. <laughs> I look fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh. Hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> swimming! Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> there, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> Oh. oh dear, Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Mummy! Sorry, Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Nonsense! I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. Clever, <laughs> Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Pepper, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Pepper and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> Peppa! George! Come inside! The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo! George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah! <laughs> ah! Hmm. George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. It's so nice and quiet. It is morning. 
George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> swimming! Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Pepper, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <sighs> there, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. Oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Not me. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy. I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Peppa. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. 
Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. They're going to play in their treehouse. Peppa and George love their treehouse. Here are Peppa and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> Now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hello, Peppa. Well, can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This tree house is for girls only. What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the tree house. It isn't fair. Ho oh, ho, I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <coughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> <laughs> The rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Oh, oh, I'll look after your castle, Daddy. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys. Grandad Dog's Garage. 
This is Grandad Dog's garage. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look! There's Danny and Grandad Dog! Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No, you've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> All the air has gone out of the tyre. Will Grandad Dog have to rescue us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Pepper. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! <laughs> Come to rescue you! Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello, I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken and Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Ah! Do something, Grandad Dog. Oh, I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off... ...and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny creatures. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig pick vegetables. Pepper, here is a lettuce. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? There's a horrible monster on it. Monster. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. that's not a monster. It's just a little snail. Oh, 
Where has he gone? He's hiding in his shell. Is that where he lives? Yes. It's his house. Look, he's coming out again. Hello, Mr Snail. <laughs> Grandpa, does Mr Snail have a bed in his house? Oh, oh, no, Peppa. If I were a snail, I'd have a bed and a table and a chair and a fridge and a television. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, what do snails eat? Well, mostly they eat my vegetables. Oi, stop that, you cheeky rascal. <laughs> Grandpa, George and I want to play cheeky snails. <laughs> These baskets can be your shells. There, now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> all of Peppa's friends are here. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> We were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower. And then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, 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 My, buzz, buzz. what busy bees. Yes, we're busy bees. Buzz. Now we must fly back to our hive to make honey. Buzz! <laughs> Goodness me! What do we have here? Granny, we're busy bees. Buzz! Ah, would you busy bees like some toast? Yes, please! And what would you like on your toast? Honey! That's lucky, because that's what I've made. Toast and honey. Hooray! I like being a bee because they eat lots of lovely honey. I like being a snail because they eat all Grandpa's lettuce. <laughs> Oi! Oh. You cheeky rascal. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs>